Hello. So today we're going to look at some transformations of functions. Now, this is a topic covered GCSE, but there are extra transformations covered on the EMC qualification that are not covered on the GCSE specification. So on GCSE, we're expected to be able to work with translations and reflections, which you are also expected to be able to work with on this qualification. But the difference on here is we're also going to deal with stretches. And this first one here, uh, is actually a combination of transformations. We should recognize that the, with this subtract one at the end, that's going to be a translation of zero, negative one. So we know we're going to translate the graph one down in the y direction. The term here, the two, is telling me that I'm doing a stretch in the x direction. Now, the scale factor of the stretch, and this is where a lot of people will often make mistakes, is not a stretch of scale factor two, it's a stretch of scale factor a half. So that's a stretch, scale factor a half in the x direction. And the minus one part here, the subtract one, is a translation of zero, negative one. So I need to do both of those things. Now, the other thing I need to know here is what does the graph of y equals sine x look like? So I'm going to start by drawing a graph of y equals sine x. I'm then going to draw the graph of y equals sine 2x, and I'll do them in different colors on the same grid. And I'll move on to the other grid to, to finish it off and, and add in the, the translation as well. So we should know um, the key points, really, that sine x goes through the origin. It goes through 91, it goes through 180, 0. It also goes through negative 90, negative 1, and it goes through negative 180, 0. So, again, we are just dealing with a sketch. So, as long as we're going through those key coordinates, we don't need to panic too much. So, there's my curve. Okay. Now, if we deal with a stretch, First of all, so a scale factor of a half means it's going to compress the graph in the x direction. So it's going to bring the graph closer to the y axis. Now, by a scale factor of a half, so the value here that's at 91 will move to 45, 1. And the value at 180, 0 will move to 90, 0. Now, we should, by looking at just that part, be able to see what the graph will do. So it will continue in that way. So it will go through um, 135, negative one, and then it will still go for 180, zero. So it will come like that. And we'll get exactly the same thing on the other side of the axis. So negative 90, negative one, will move to negative 45, negative one, negative 180, uh, zero will move to negative 90, zero. So you can see the first part of the curve there, like so. And then we will get just like we did on the other side. Oops. There we go. So in red there, we have the graph of y equals sine 2x. Okay. I'm just going to move that, move that so we can see the grid below. I then want to plot the graph of y equals sine 2x minus 1. So all we're going to do there, I'm going to move all of my key coordinates, I'm going to translate them down by 1 in the y direction. So negative 180, negative 0, we'll move to negative 180, negative 1. The point at negative 135, 1 will become negative 135, 0, and so on. So if I'm just going to mark in those key coordinates for myself. And there. And then I'm going to join them up smoothly as I can. And I've got y equals sine 2x minus 1.